Today I have the pleasure of introducing the senior class president and my friend Shreya Jampana. It's no secret why out of the 67 students in our grade, she has been elected president. She's one of those universally loved people. She's always there for everyone and anytime you need something in the halls, she would be more than happy to help even if you've never spoken to her. And I know you all are super excited to hear what she has to say, so without further ado, I would like to hand it off to the wonderful Shreya Jampana. I have a confession to make. I am a major people pleaser. Not the type that's super annoying, but the type that can't speak up for herself because she's too afraid of what people will think. And I'll be the first to admit, that's a huge problem. So I want to start anew, like when people say my name wrong. It's not Syria. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit disturbed by it. I understand it's hard, but I think being mistakenly referred to as the current hotspot of geopolitical instability and insurgency, especially with my skin tone, is a little less than ideal. <laughs> so like Jay-Z, you know, Queen Bee's lesser half, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Shreya Jumpana. My whole life, I've tried to cater myself towards others. I try to suppress my own craziness just so that other people aren't intimidated by me. I say sorry multiple times because I don't want to ever to feel someone was their fault even if it was. And I don't like compliments because I want people to think that I'm humble. <laughs> and I think this all stemmed from my insecurities as a crusty middle school girl who was always the second favorite. No, literally. My relatives failed to hide the fact that they like my brother more than me. <laughs> Whenever I call them, it's never, hey Sharia, how's it going? Or how's school? But the first thing they say to me is, hey, Shreya, how's Shurjan doing? What's he up to these days? Like, girl, <laughs> wouldn't I like to know? But enough about him, because this speech is about me. This middle school girl wanted to make friends, and the only way she thought she'd be able to was to be overly kind. Now, for some of you who don't know me, you may not understand the severity of my people pleasing. Let me give you some examples. During the last golf match of last year, when the school sent someone to take pictures, Mr. McCullough proceeded to joke to everyone about how I was an influencer. It was funny until a golf coach literally waited for me to finish my match. You don't understand what I mean by when I said she waited. I was in the last group, and all her players finished about 20 minutes before me, and they all left. She sat in her golf cart at the end of the hole for a whole 20 minutes by herself just to come up to me give me her Instagram handle, and tell me to give her a shout out on my TikTok so that she could get some clout. <laughs> and I told her I would, even though I had a mere 100 followers. <laughs> even after all that hard work, I didn't give the poor girl a shout out. <laughs> or when in freshman year biology, we were talking about diseases. Somehow, we came across the topic of leprosy the highly contagious disease that causes red skin patches and numbness or weakness in the hands or feet. <laughs> well, someone decided to look it up. They read aloud that it was commonly found in Brazil, Indonesia, Hawaii, and India. Everybody's head turned to the back of the room where I sat. It gets better. Someone then decided to add, in 10 years, Shree is going to be in Hawaii with the leprosy colony. I mean, at least they didn't say Syria was going to end up in Syria. <laughs> but in that moment, I didn't even utter a single word. Life isn't supposed to be what others think of you. It's about who you become and how happy you are with yourself. It's about believing in yourself, which I haven't gone to do until recently. Don't try to make everyone like you, because no matter how much you do, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like you. And sadly, you can't do anything to change that. Now, I'm not saying don't be nice to others. In fact, do be kind and be genuine. We have all heard the golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated. But we forget to treat ourselves the way we wish to be treated. Because what I've come to realize is that the only person who you're guaranteed to be living with for the rest of your life is yourself. To my class, the class of 2022, I have gotten the privilege of getting to know each of you for the past seven years. You're an amazing group of people, and personally, I cannot wait to hear all the stories you guys will share this year. Talking to you, I have realized the amount of passion you all have. Keep that passion of yours and use it to do what you want to do. 
Never change yourself for anyone, because the girls I'm looking at now are the best versions of themselves that they can be. And to all of you, this is your life, so take it and make the most out of it. Just like in Ted Lasso, when Rebecca asked Ted, do you believe in ghost Ted? To which he responded, I do, but more importantly, I think that they need to believe in themselves. Believe in yourself. Be yourself. Thank you.